What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Ford Maverick. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I can continue bringing accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The Ford Maverick came back on the scene very recently and now seems to be as numerous on the streets as Toyota Tacomas. This compact truck is almost alone in the segment and is no doubt dominating over the Hyundai Santa Cruz. This small but very useful truck can get the job done for just about everyone who desires a truck without it being 20 feet long and over 7 feet tall. For someone who doesn't need the largest tow capacity or doesn't even need a midsize, this Maverick may be perfect for you. Today we'll look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Ford, from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Ford Mavic will be available in five different trims. Uh, the three main ones are the XL, XLT, and Lariat. And new for 23, you can add on the Tremor uh, to the XLT and the Lariat and get those Tremor off-road packages. Uh, that's a pretty cool option. The XL is that basic trim option that you can start off at $23,690. Um, even though this is a small compact truck, that is still a phenomenal starting price. And even the Lariat, that top trim starting at $30,000, uh, that's very reasonable for most people. And I think that's a big reason why you see this truck popping up everywhere. Because people who just need those basic truck capabilities can now do that for a very reasonable price. You don't have to start at a base level midsize trim, which is still running at least $30,000. So that's great to see from Ford. Looking at the engines here, the stock or standard engine option for those top three. Uh, will be a hybrid setup, 2.5 liter four cylinder plus one electric motor. It'll give you 191 horsepower, 155 pound feet of torque. You can option in instead, a two liter turbocharged four cylinder puts out 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. And that engine will be the only one available for the Tremor uh, trim setups. Looking at the transmissions that are paired, that hybrid will be paired with a CVT as most hybrids are, and that straight gas engine will come with an eight-speed automatic. As far as this drivetrain goes, front wheel drive only on the hybrid setup. Front wheel drive will come standard on the two liters as well, but you can all wheel drive uh, as an option. And then once again, the Tremor package that comes with only that gas engine will also be all wheel drive standard. So you won't have to option that in uh, just on the other three. And looking at MPGs, the hybrid, you'll get 42 in the city, 33 on the highway, which that's phenomenal for a truck. Uh, although it is small, it's still great. Gas with the front wheel drive, you get 23 city, 30 highway. And gas with all wheel drive setup, you get 22 city and 29 highway. So not bad at all. We're going to look at the Maverick now, some different pictures, the different trims available. Uh, this design is very different than its really only competitor right now in that Hyundai Santa Cruz. Uh, they look nothing like each other. Um, this design is probably either one you love or one you don't like so much. I'm still kind of unsure how I feel about it. I know that base trim is nothing to, to gawk at, but I do like to look at those tremors. Uh, like I said, the base model is quite dull and lacking much appeal, but very inexpensive, um, as you would expect. You know, it's not going to have that many luxuries, luxuries, if that's even a word, on the inside or outside uh, for that price point. Like I said, too, the Tremor off-road trims are new for 2023, and they come only with that gas engine paired with either the XLT or the Lariat. Uh, it will bring a one-inch suspension lift and a rear locking differential, so that's cool. If you want to do some minor off-roading, uh, just remember this thing is capable of doing a vertical face or climbing over any boulders. And even beyond its looks, you can add the Tremor appearance package to add even more styling to the already elevated trim. Uh, these Tremor trims add a great new exterior design to the lineup. They're still overall really an affordable price. A loaded out Maverick is still less than your baseline midsize. Uh, so that really opens the door for a lot of people to buy these trucks. Uh, you also can tow up to 4,000 pounds with this. That's 1,000 less than the Santa Cruz can offer. Um, but really, probably if you're buying this, you're not doing much towing other than a small camper or a small boat. Um, Last cool touch is they're all available in crew cab, so you kind of get max space in the cabin per trim. And they have a four and a half foot bed as well. I think the best bang for your buck is either the XLT or the Lariat. I would say Lariat because although it's the highest trim level base price, it's only still $30,000 and will get you the most standard features. 
if all you want is that basic work truck, then the XL will do just fine for you. But I would at least go XLT if you want a few more elevated standard features. Looking at the interior now and a few different setups that will be offered depending on how you trim and option. Uh, not much to be said on this interior, but it's not too bad. There's a good amount of cabin space, uh, being that all our crew cabs, you get plenty of legroom and headroom in the front and the back. The XL gives you absolute basic amenities, nothing special as far as cool features or materials. The XLT or the Lariat come with or can option dual climate, unique interior ambient lighting, and full power front seats. Um, you go with that XL, you're really not getting much at all that you are probably accustomed to in your vehicle. So if you want those, you're going to have to at least go XLT. The Lariat and the Tremor trims have the nicest interior seating materials and overall looks. Tremor will give you that more sporty, tough, and off-roading interior theme, where the Lariat is more luxury-oriented. You get an 8-inch infotainment screen standard on all trims. It's not the biggest screen ever, but neither is the truck. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi Hotspot, all that comes standard. You also get plenty of safety features standard as well. Overall, for what it's supposed to be, the purpose of this truck, all the interiors make sense. And although none of them are really anything too crazy, they serve their purpose just fine. In review, guys, and I got to be honest, when I first saw this Maverick out on the roads, I kind of laughed at it and said, you know, I would never want something like that. But the more I've seen it, the more I've gotten to learn about it, uh, you know, especially kind of making this review for you guys. This is a very good option. And I think this could blow up the compact segment for trucks. You might start seeing them getting made by multiple brands now to compete with this once they see how well this Maverick is doing. I mean, when you think about it, how many people really need a truck that is huge and capable of so much? It's not a huge list, but they get it anyway because there's really no other option. This opens the door for a lot of people who don't need either something crazy that they already have or are hesitant to buy one because you know they don't need that. They don't need you know an HD truck or even a midsize. They just don't want to spend that money because they don't need it. Uh, this is a very, very cool new option for that. And I think you'll continue to see it everywhere. But hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. And I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.